Personal mastery. Have you mastered your life? Imagine if you did master your life to an extreme level, if you haven't already. Imagine what it would be like if it was designed the way you would want it to be. So many of us have these difficulties that we're like, man, I don't like this. I wish I didn't have to deal with this. I wish I wasn't going through this. But once we master life, guess what? Those difficulties that we deal with, they're going to fade away. They're going to go away. We're going to learn how to get rid of them, how to replace them, because we've mastered life. And we all can do it. That's something so fascinating about this stuff is that we all can do it. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, you can take this stuff. You can learn it. You can implement it in your life. And I'll tell you, over just the past week, I've had so many great experiences in my life. And I think it's because, no, no, I know. It's because I'm choosing to go in this direction. And then the universe sort of gives it to you because of your choices and your decisions that you make. This can be some good stuff. Let's get rocking and rolling. Child. Come get you love, your service, your daddy, baby. Welcome back to Starship Lockjaw, your daily source for a little motivation. Hey, if you like this kind of stuff and you're new, subscribe. If you've already subscribed, hit the thumbs up and we will begin. So we're talking about uh, we're talking about personal mastery methods here. By the way, if you want this book absolutely free, I've got a link below. You come click that link, you come to my website, you get the book for free. Hey, all right, let's get rocking. Misgivings may take a severe toll on our life. And the worst part is that we're an inherently anxious species. Even if it is about purchasing something at the mall, we consider it a dozen times whether it will be a great buy or not. Do you struggle with decisiveness? I, I have for a long time. I'm trying to get better. And I am getting better. But it's still a struggle, man. Because I consider, I keep considering, is it going to go this way? Is it going to go that way? Should I do this? Should I not? But I know that's something I need to cut off, right? Because once we, once, we, once we learn to make decisions, it's so important that we make decisions, right? If we don't make the decision, we're going to keep lingering, right? Yeah, that's something I got to work on. Hmm. Let me know in the comments how, how you are at decision making. I'm going to get better at it, though. I'm going to keep getting better. Got a long way to go. We do the same sort of reasoning in everything that we do. Even if we have to attempt something new, we become anxious. In most cases, we let our misgivings rule us, and then we don't try that certain thing at all. That too. I think we talked about that last time, how, like, you just, you don't try th a thing because, matter of fact, on Instagram, on Instagram, I talked about that th this morning, that we have these amazing ideas, but we don't implement them because we're just, we doubt ourselves, we're afraid it's not going to work. We have these ideas, and we say it's not going to work, right? Yeah, we got to give it a chance. You got to give things a chance. Got to give them lots of chances too, right? You know, you got to swing. You got to keep swinging. Eventually, you're going to hit, hit it out of the park. But you're never going to hit any home runs if you never take any swings. I think that's what a lot of people do now is they just don't take any swings. But we got to take those swings, man. You got to take those shots if you want to get some, get some shots made. All right, let's keep rocking. Give it a shot. Hey, that's what I was just saying. A lot of individuals lose out on life because they do not attempt something they think will be too hard. They don't try because of assorted preconceptions and complexes. They may feel that they are not up to executing something, but this could be a view of other people and not of themselves. Ooh, however, if you bear the correct belief in yourself, you will understand what you are capable of and you will not cringe when attempting new things. Mm, mm, so as to understand yourself. Wow, that's deep, man. Because a lot of times we don't understand ourselves. Hmm. And we, that right? And we say, I'm not capable of that, right? We say, I can't do that. So we just, but we don't understand ourselves. Because if you understand yourself, you know, you say, I can do this. I just have to learn how it's done. And then I have to see how it goes to implement it, right? I always say, we want to implement it. Then we analyze what's going on. Then we go back and we optimize and we change things a little bit. Man, I tell you what makes me so sad is how many great, wonderful people there are out there who are so capable of doing things, who are so capable of learning things, but because they have these limiting beliefs of themselves, they think I'm not good enough to do this. I can't do this. I could never do it. They have these dreams that they want to accomplish, things that they want to bring into their lives but they just, they don't attempt it because they don't believe in themselves. 
I, that's part of why I'm so obsessed with trying to say, you know, I believe in you. I want you to believe in yourself. Yeah. Hmm. Man, this stuff is so good. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. If you struggle with that, if you struggle with believing in yourself, I'm telling you right now, from the bottom of my heart, I'm going to try to to uh, do whatever I can to help you see that, yes, you can, all right? The power is within you. I feel it. I feel the power within you, all right? It's strong, too. It's strong. I'm telling you. Man. Let's continue. Think of an individual who knows that he can do well in a certain racing contest. He hasn't raced previously, and so there will be a lot of individuals to say that he is, that he is languishing his time. Most of us, if we were in his place, would take such criticism and think that we truly cannot accomplish that, and we don't even make the attempt. However, suppose this individual has belief in himself. He knows that he is capable to do it. Even though he hasn't shown the world so far, he may accomplish that particular thing, so he urges on. He puts in a great deal of practice. He's propelled by himself, and that's the most beneficial motive you could have. Whether he wins or loses is a different matter entirely. What is significant is that he tried. Hmm. Don't take other people's critiques blindly. They don't know you. They don't comprehend what you feel. You are the only individual who knows you. You are the only individual who knows you. You know, people will always, people will always think that they know you and say things about you and do you and try to knock you. But like I said before, that's always something inside of them that's not at peace and it's reflecting itself out on you, right? We always want to recognize that, always recognize that. Your father doesn't, your mom doesn't, and your teacher doesn't. Your lady friend or boyfriend doesn't, your spouse doesn't, your employer doesn't, right? Only you. Only you. A lot of times, a lot of times you won't even know, right? Because, because you doubt yourself. I don't want you to doubt yourself. We talked about that last time too. We said, um, said you, you be honest with yourself though. You say, hey, right now at this point in time, yes, I'm not capable of doing that right now at this point in time. However, if I decide that I want to be able to, then I can take the steps and learn how to do it and go down that path. But it takes the decision to do so, and it takes the steps to do so, right? Man, this is something amazing that's going to be in the video that, uh, that I'm publishing tomorrow morning. I'm publishing this video tomorrow morning, all right, with John Sonmez from Bulldog Mindset. And uh, one of the things we talk about in there is so good. He says, you just have, he, he says, he says, it doesn't really matter so much what you decide you're going to do. He just says you have to decide something. And once you decide something, you begin the path and you stay on the path and you may go to a different path, right? You may straight as you may do something else, find out this doesn't work, but he says you just have to find something to strive towards and to go towards. And he says on that journey, it's who you become on that journey. That's the most amazing thing. He said at first, it doesn't really matter what it is. You might change it. But the fact that you chose it and you drove on for it and you dedicated yourself to it and the lessons that you learn along the way shape you into who you are and they build the character and character my friends is a hell of a thing to build mm. character it's real it's real man and then when you're when you're dealing with others who also have developed character you relate on that level and it's good stuff and you click because you understand you understand character Man, I want so much for you. I want so much for myself too. I want it for all of us. I want it for all of us. Man, we're all gonna make it. Hell yeah. It's solely you who has your self-worth and within the realms of this, you are able to arrive at your decisions and maybe even succeed. Absolutely, absolutely. Hell yeah. Let's continue, chapter three. You are now thinking as unlimitedly, as unlimitedly as conceivable, as there shouldn't be any boundaries on the goals you set yourself. Your visions might appear insurmountable to, to most, but they should not seem that way to you, as you have to start realizing them. Arrive at an appraisal of what you'll require. This is your basic step. Sit down and analyze what you'll require to bring your plan to fulfillment. 
this may be a really tall order. The things that you'll require may seem unattainable to you at present. This is step one of the procedure. Although, and most individuals fail at this. All the same, don't restrict yourself. Make a list of the things you'll require, however hard they appear at present. Hmm. Yeah. But you don't want to let that overwhelm you, though. Don't let it overwhelm you. Right? We all got to start somewhere, right? We all start with the baby steps, man. Even someone who runs a race and wins the Olympic, the Olympic gold medal for sprinting, they started out crawling just like everyone else, right? And they finally start able to stand up on two, two legs and walk around. We all start somewhere. I think a big problem is when, we com when we're starting like that and we're comparing ourselves to those who have already done it all. And we're saying, I'll never be like that. I'm not good enough. I can't compete with that person. But again, everyone starts somewhere. And you're not competing with that person. You're competing with yourself from yesterday. Yourself from last week. Yourself from last month. Hell yeah. Arrive at an appraisal of what you have. You will already have some things that will be valuable in the achievement of your goal. You may not be able to see them, probably, but these things will be with you. Sit down and think. Perhaps you know somebody indirectly who may assist you with something. Perhaps you are eligible for a financing option that you don't know about. Perhaps you have some materials that you are able to utilize for constructing whatever you are thinking about. Think in depth about what you already have. It brings you closer to your goal. Study, search, and reread. Studying is important. See what others have done in similar conditions. Read about the lives of famous individuals. See what you are able to accomplish. This can give you a lot of inspiration. And strategize. Ooh, that's strategy, man. Strategy does go, strategy goes a long way. Now it is your time. It's time to establish your strategies. How will you go through in your mission to achieving your vision? How, what will help you and what won't? Set milestones for yourself. See how you are able to reach some milestone A to milestone B. Each step may need strategies. If you are zealous about this, you'll be soon having a proper blueprint of how you can go about matters. Again, remember that you have to not restrict yourself. So you don't restrict yourself. So don't think in the little box, right? Don't think in the little box. I've struggled with that in the past. Keeping myself in this little box. Just keeping my, th my thoughts and ideas in that little box. But no, man, no limits. No limits. Some people learn to break out of that box. And they don't let their vision be held back by that box. Forget that box. That box is your enemy, isn't it? Depending on where you want to go, that box can be your greatest enemy. You got to break out of that box, huh? Hell yeah. My friends, uh, we're going to pick up on this one next time, chapter four. We're going to pick up on this next time. Uh, again, if you want this book we're looking at, link is pinned below in the comments. You click it, come to my site, you'll get it for free. Uh, hey, follow Bay Shaman on Instagram, baby. Hell yeah. Much love, motivation stuff every single day. If you have a question about anything you would like to be in a video, uh, shoot me a message on there. Send me a message. And uh, yeah, I, I know that if, if it's something you're going through that you'd like some advice and things like that, I'll tell you what, there's probably a lot of other folks going through the exact same thing or something very similar, and they could probably be helped by it too. So you let me know, maybe we can make videos about these topics. I'll put a video up here you may want to watch next. Uh, hey, much love, peace, chicken grease. Hit that thumbs up, turn on the notifications, and I'll see you soon. Peace and blessings.